All right, welcome back everyone. Now we're gonna go over the tools and resources, the things that you would need to complete this course. First off, you're gonna need Sketchbook Pro. I'm running Sketchbook Pro 7. You don't necessarily need the most updated version, but there will be certain things that I'll cover that are only gonna be applied to Sketchbook Pro 7. Things that will be covered in older versions or still relate will be brushes, layers, but one thing that's new with this particular version is the perspective tools. So once we get there, that's one thing that you won't be able to follow along with. Now the other thing that a lot of people underestimate that you need to create artwork like this is a tablet. I've had people ask me over the years, can I create this type of artwork with a mouse? And my answer to that is no. I wish it was otherwise, but I haven't seen anything that you can do with the mouse that is this type of uh, detail or line work. Essentially, the tablet is going to give you the ability to create thick to thin lines and have the control necessary to be able to work through a project like this in a timely fashion. So you're definitely going to need a tablet. Now, you, de you don't need to have a Wacom tablet. You can use that tablet. That's what I recommend. But if you have a different tablet, that's fine too. So it's not so specific to the tablet itself as much as it is that you just need a tablet that has the pressure sensitivity that will work in this type of situation. And lastly, the thing that you will need is a competent system. Something that will run this without, you know, crashing or lagging too much, but... One thing that I found with Sketchbook Pro is that it runs really well on even the most meager system. It's one of the reasons that this particular software is very popular with handheld devices, the iPad, things like that. I mean, I even use a version of this on my phone and it runs really well. So as long as you have those things, a tablet, one of the versions of Sketchbook Pro, and a decent system to run it on, then you're pretty much good to go. The rest is just gonna be me showing you the interface, showing you how to create a piece of art like this, and the steps that I take, and then finally applying some color to the art and finalizing it. So that completes this portion. Let's continue on to chapter two, tools and features of Sketchbook Pro.